My plan today is to um, put the oil pickup tube back into the engine and um, set up the oil pan. As you saw in our last video, we put this uh, oil pan number one and this is the oil pan number two. So this is how they call it on the menu. I'm not sure if this is the correct name, but uh, that's the griddle or whatever, whatever the hell that is. We put that in the last video. This video is gonna finish the bottom end, all right? So what I have now is a bag full of dirty parts and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean them now, skip this video till it is clean and all the parts are uh, nice and ready to be installed right there and we're going to do that together. Alright so we have the buffalo plate clean, uh, it was just like oil collar. Uh, we have the oil level sensor, it's also clean. We have seven bolts, which does not have head in it, and we have two nuts. One thing that's interesting, the new gasket that came on the um, Comedic kit uh, is made out of this thing here. I don't know which material is that, it's kind of cold, but the one that was in the car is this metal one. Um, I assume this one is better but I'm gonna save that just as a reference and I'm gonna install this guy um, basically this guy actually it has exactly the same uh, um, hole the same size this one is a little uh, bigger but you know I don't know it doesn't restrict anything without further ado let's do it I'm going to put the buffer plate here and I am going to um, screw them down with the impact wrench but I'm not going to put any force because uh, they go for 8.8 .8 newton meter which is nothing probably I'm going to calculate but it's not a lot so there you go just to save some time There you go. Done. So now we're gonna torque at 6.4 foot pound. Done. I just want to say that one thing we need to consider is when you put the, the uh, torque wrench here uh, and if you keep pushing or you know it's going to come it's going to be easy to turn and and torque more and then you think oh this is loose but when you get a small wrench like this right and you try to move it is pretty hard so this we have the leverage we got to think about that too and I, I keep trying to over torque with this because it ba barely makes the noise, the click, because it's it's so little. Um, but you know, you need to be aware and you keep trying and keeps going and you think, oh, it didn't reach the bottom, but yes, it did. And that's aluminum. So if you keep going, it's going to strip. So do not over torque. And one thing I did wrong is this bottom one here, <sighs> this one, uh, this is where the, uh, 
the oil pickup tube gets tied to so we're gonna um, install the oil pickup tube first thing we do is we put a new gasket in there in here and remove that one that we shouldn't put in there and put this back in here and there you go everything should fit as normal and we have a couple nuts second one is kind of hard but same thing so I'm gonna uh, just uh, tie this down a little and we are gonna torque everything at six point let me go back to that 6.4 foot pound there you go so one thing for the bottom one you might need a longer 10 millimeter like this um, because the shorter one I have it won't work so you need that and a little extension There you go. So just to double check, I'm gonna get my smaller wrench just to be sure that everything is tight as it should. And that was actually a click. So yep, this is super tight. This is oh super tight. And this one is super tight. Oh yeah, all right, so just double check, triple check all of them, and there you go. This is the uh, oil level sensor, so I have mine, I'm going to reuse the same, and the way we do it, it goes like this, so as you see here in the screen. Uh, in one of the sides there's a little tab that tab goes to the top of the engine, but my engine is upside down So I'm gonna put this up and All the way there's a gasket in there um, And you just put this guy here and it's at four foot pound, which is nothing so um, It's almost like a hand tight and then you tighten a tiny bit more and that's it so I can barely hear the click because it's so little. No. Yeah, I think I heard it. You really don't want to hurt this aluminum block or aluminum uh, block. This part of the aluminum, the oil pan, because. Okay, I'm gonna say that this is good. There we go, all done. I heard stories about this leaking and people putting a, a large amount of um, gasket thing in here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, I should put to the inside, not outside. That's the deal here. Uh, it needs a lot of gasket stuff, uh, ultra gay and it needs to go on the inside of the bolts right and I started here putting the outside for some reason and so yeah I just uh, put a little over here 
but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for it's like five minutes and I'm gonna be sure that um, this is not hard it's not gonna get hard is I just want this to get a little harder so when I put in there it's going to squeeze the material but it's gonna be somehow hard and this is gonna be enough for us to make a good good gasket contact in there all right so five minutes gone what I'm gonna do is put the oil pan in here not touch anywhere and I'm just gonna let it sit in here okay Uh -huh. There are two bolts uh, which receive the nut, which is one here, one there. Just a line in there, and then let it sit here. I will let it sit here for five more minutes. And again, for time's sake, I'm gonna use my torque wrench and torque those babies down. Just push them down, not torque. Six foot pound. Okay, we're gonna do here, there, All right, guys, there you go. All set, all done. I cleaned some of the gasket that was uh, the ultra grade was coming out of the uh, the sides. I think it's got a, it's time to go. I am afraid to look at what time this is because I think it's 4 a.m. and got to work tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna look, hang on. Uh, 3.40. AM. So, yeah, time to go. I can't stop because I want this to be done. I want this to be inside my drift car. I cannot have this not ready. And I already have people asking about this engine also. Um, the Eclipse, I have uh, only exhaust and putting this, this stuff, but this is, doesn't matter, and tune. Um, I found a good clue, so if you're following this, Watch out for the next videos. I have like a pile of videos like scheduled already. Um, so I don't overwhelm you. Uh, posting more than I should. And don't let you uh, waiting for a video that never comes up. So um, I hope if you are not subscribed to my channel, you subscribe. I'm almost uh, hitting a milestone that I've been waiting for a while. Um, I really appreciate the support, guys. And, you know... I think all the commenting you guys doing, the liking and you know the sharing, all the love you guys showing, uh, it's uh, paying off for me right now. So um, I really appreciate that. All right, so don't forget all those things. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And if you are subscribed, lead, hit the little bell. And that's gonna tell you every time I post a video. And so it gives you the chance to say, damn Marcos, another one or Hey man, it's been so long. So anyway, I gotta shut up. It's 3.20 a.m. I gotta go to bed, I gotta brush my teeth. All right, I'll see you on the next video.
Mac Gutters. I mean, except Mac Gutters. Uh, 20 miles.